Time has no friend. It marches on with or without your blessing. This grocery store and accompanying shopping center were once the flagship of a beloved 19-store family-owned industry that held their outside competition at bay for over 40 years. This was the crown jewel of their stores. But this story isn't about the business itself, but the impact it had on the majority of us here on the central coast of California. You see, this was more than just a store. It was the glue that held all the 15 plus communities along the coast together. And now that it's gone, there is nothing. There is no one thing that binds us together as one big family. And we miss that. All those who were there back then for several decades miss that. That oneness. Every time we went to our local Williams Brothers Market, we knew we'd see familiar faces. Whether it was the produce clerk that makes us feel at home while we breathe deep the aromas of fresh apples, lettuce, and oranges, or our friend Lisa from high school is shopping with her kids we haven't seen in a while, or Debbie that checks us out and asks how the kids are, or the neighbor kid that bags our groceries for us and takes them out to our car for us. It was like a second home for us, and those of us who worked there, like me, even more so. But it was more than the store experience. The company gave back generously to the coastal communities it served. It supported organizations and food banks. It gave to those in need. It helped with sports teams and held a huge event each year at the fairgrounds that everyone loved to come to. But it's been gone now for 30 years. It's so hard to believe it's been gone. Now this current generation with their own kids, they never got to experience any of that. Now there's no loyalty to any particular grocery store. It's just a store. There's no institution here on the coast that has that kind of impact anymore. We're all just independent, loosely connected communities now. I could go on about this company and why it had so much impact, but I don't have time for that here. This story is about the memories and time and how it all slips away. All the good stuff, it all goes away. But right now, there's good stuff. And tomorrow, it could slip away. So how do we capture it? Any of it? Can we? Should we? We all hold things dear that are now gone. Was it your mom or your grandma that believed in you and no one else would? And now there's no one in your life that does? Maybe it was the friend that was closer than a brother or sister and now you feel like you have a hole in your heart. As much as it hurts, that's humanity. It's what makes you long for more. More of what you once had. It also causes you to cherish what you had. You feel grateful that you got to experience it. And that's what the Williams Brothers experience was all about. What made it so special? No, who made it special? It was the people. From the top down, it was the people, the owners, their families had helped run it and their generosity to the community, giving back. The customers were their family, their neighbors, their friends first. Everyone on the Central Coast either worked for them, had neighbors and or family members that worked for them. So that's how several hundred thousand people were all held together like glue to one another by one entity and now it's gone. Williams Brothers Markets and its bond is gone. 
every time I drive by one of these stores, I smile. I remember, and I'm glad, that I was part of that Williams Brothers experience. <laughs>